Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Grime. So, um, we're still in backtracking mode uh, with our latest ability in the Feaster's Lair. And uh, we have these three general main areas that I want to double check, or that I, that I want to explore now, that I should have the tools to do so. Uh, last time I ended in this section here, where I entered from the what was clearly the exit and through sheer luck or a glitch, well, I guess, sheer luck and a glitch, uh, I was allowed to actually enter this way, which pretty clearly is the exit. Um, and I was, you know, talking about maybe how maybe the entrance is through an opening that's here, that's not on the map, where you can maybe double jump up. But much more likely, you, you actually just drop down into this area from, from up here, from this area that I'm about to explore, which is right past this one set of teeth that I was previously able to... Um, you know, cheat my way through. So, uh, I have been in this area here, but I'm pretty sure at some point I could not progress it further than that. This is the way that... No, actually, it's not. Which way is this? Oh, this is definitely something I could not have done. Right. So, this entire large cavern is actually like displayed on the map, but I'm pretty sure I never really explored most of it. So that's pretty cool. There doesn't seem to be anything over this way. A lot of unused space here. Not sure what's up with that. We should be able to just do that, yeah, okay. Oh. Ah, yes, yes, I remember. I actually remember, okay. I think I want to head down here first. Take out this annoying thing. If I ever have any... Any stamina. Um, also, speaking of having things, I have a lot of money. Um, I had never really been paying attention, but uh, with the the farming set and full ardor, which I wanted to look it up, but I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, pretty sure um, that does improve uh, increase your mass gain. Nope, can't be parried. Um, yeah, with, with that, these enemies here are, well, that one, of course, is the only one of its kind. That one was worth over 300, but even those uh, those little uh, burrowing toothy guys, uh, whether the spitter or the non-spitter variety, uh, they are worth 250, I think, with all these bonuses active, so that's quite substantial. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, even though I wasn't really spending a lot of time or, you know, I don't even know, was I trying to reach something in particular, or was it really just on my way up here? I guess I made my way from the save point... Yeah, I don't know, I guess I cleared the... Yeah, some, some areas around and accidentally moved back in this direction when I re didn't really mean to, and then I backtracked and saved again and reset and killed the enemies again, and then I made my way up here, and that was enough to give me another, I don't know... Well, a lot of mass in a relatively short time, I guess is the bottom line. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I see. The trick is to not drop down if you want this motley pearl. Hmm. Is there any reason to be on these platforms instead? Be on the ladder to the left? Doesn't seem like that would do anything for me. I think the, the end goal is to reach this here, although there isn't actually anything here. Well, and then, of course, yeah, you do drop down, and that's how you end up here. Oh. Huh. So, ultimately, that was just for a Motley Pearl, and whatever other items might have been in here that I already cleared out. Oh. Huh. Okay, and then, of course, everything that was past this point, which I... Uh, yeah, something in there. A weapon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pretty cool-looking weapon, too, that I will never be able to use, unless I decide that I uh, want to reset my entire build and just, you know bank on uh, focusing strength instead. Which might not be the worst idea. I have been considering that. I mean, it's pretty clear that resonance is kind of the, the equivalent of... Um, what was it called? That stat in Bloodborne, for example? That, uh, you know... 
probably the worst example because I, I can't even remember what it's called. Anyway, you know, the, the stat in, in a Soulsborne game that's not that's neither strength nor dexterity, and is only used for... I guess there are a couple of those. Um, that, that is used for specialty weapons and types of magic, and is, you know, definitely not the... Uh, the usual choice for most new players, because it's more specialized and, you know, there are less options that work well, uh, and less weapon options that work well with that stat, but those that are, that there are, can be powerful if used correctly, that seems to be exactly what resonance is in this game. I mean, so far I've really mostly been finding these, mostly found these lanterns, and then this uh, drill type weapon that rely heavily on resonance, and then of course there are some uh, traits that scale with it. Uh, I just hope that there is at some, eventually going to be a second normal weapon that uses almost exclusively resonance and is more powerful than this one. But even if not, I guess this is still good enough. I just would like you know to use another weapon eventually for the sake of uh, variation, if nothing else. But uh, meanwhile, I'm going to keep using this. I mean, it's been working working well enough so far. I still like it. I like the, that you know. Splash damage, or however you want to call it, penetration damage, I suppose, that it deals. Um, and, uh, you know, having this resonance does um, encourage me to invest in things like uh, like this skill, and, you know, the, the traits that do scale with resonance. And by the way, I think I want to at least put one more level into this next, so um, waiting for the next hunt point on that one. Okay, anyway, uh, we got this first thing out of the way. So that's nice. Uh, that means that I'm going to have to wake, make my way all the way through this entire area again. And, I don't know, start either here or there, whichever seems more convenient to reach. So I'll uh, pause and see you there in a second. Okay, and I finally made my way all the way over here. Now it seems like this area that I marked is actually going to be the exit because there is a destructible, destructible wall. Um, that needs to be destroyed from the inside. So um, I'm probably going to enter this area here somehow and loop around, if I had to guess. Uh, but I also, thankfully, decided to check this passage here, which is fully mapped, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't actually able to get across here before without being able to do this. Okay. Not sure what this thing was that I destroyed here. Unless it was a normal enemy that I just happened to damage with Splash damage from my weapon while fighting other enemies. Or an other enemy on the other side. That's probably, that's probably where it was. Okay. Lots of particles swirling around here, but I'm pretty sure there is not a breakable one. Not a breakable floor in that gas pit. Or is there? No. No, no. That would be silly. Uh, now, on the other side, well, there are more enemies. And you can see that I'm just filthy rich at this point. Just actually kind of disgusting. 15k right now? Almost. It's crazy how fast that goes. And I mean, that's it's great. Oh? Oh. Another one of these that I... Oh, wait. No, I guess I did grab this um, last episode or so. Yeah. That was a similar place. I was... Maybe this one here? I think. Uh, maybe this this one um, that I grabbed on the way that also had just another uh, blood metal shard. So, nothing too exciting. Didn't figure it was worth uh, recording that specifically. Anyway, um, yeah, okay, I guess we'll just continue down this path, killing more enemies. Parrying whenever we can. I never use the, the heavy attack. Oh. There is an opening in the ceiling there, whatever that means. Hmm. And the pullable tooth up there. I oh, didn't mean to do that necessarily. Hello? Oh, the listener, yes, I remember. So close. Yeah, of course I was never able to actually fit through there. So that's another case where it seems like um, you know, or where the next area is actually already partially on the map, but I haven't actually been there. 
So, uh, yeah, don't rely on the map too much. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've... Oh! Wait. Hmm. Well, I've seen that type of enemy before, of course. Uh-oh. Oh god. Nope, that's not... terrible. Seems like I have not actually been down here before. Holy crap, okay. I'm not really sure... what's the best way to deal with... Ah, I could've... carried any number of those attacks. Holy crap. Okay, good. These are not actually that difficult to deal with. Nope. Don't even wait for them to... Oh. To broke that wall for me, didn't he? Or did my stray bullets break the wall? Huh. That's kind of wild. Having an actual save point here would have been the last thing I expected. But okay, I mean, I'll grab it. That is really unexpected. Acid Weeper. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not. That doesn't sound so good. Oh, you know what? Also, um, completely forgot to mention that uh, you know. Remember how at the beginning of this episode I said I was gonna buy that one talent next or upgrade that talent next? Well, I. As it turns out, I completely forgot to actually use the one of the Crimson Ikers I bought, so I actually did have two points available, and I did go ahead and spend that one. So, uh, yeah, instead of 100% uh, benefit from resonance, we now get 150% benefit from resonance for uh, repels against, you know, non-vulnerable parts of enemies' health bars, aka repelling. Um, okay, these guys just respawn. What? Wait. I somehow messed up Parrying the projectiles. I didn't even realize at first. Okay. Okay, these are so easy. How did I struggle with them? <laughs> I mean, I guess they're kind of terrifying looking, but anyway. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's cool and all, but I I mean, I think I should probably. Start by looking at this situation here. How? I guess I jump through the first one and then... Yeah, just grab the ledge. Okay. There's a breakable thing there. What is this? Oh, that's just the... No? What is this? Why, Why is there this purple... Okay. Pulsating crystal. I also appreciate that this wall actually was easier to break. So it's clearly not... The same number of hits for each wall. Okay. 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 Yeah, just <laughs> just kill me, please, and let me try again. Holy moly. What? Wait, what? I don't fully understand what killed me there. I guess I touched the upper part of that small set of teeth? Um... Oh, you're supposed to pull out that tooth. I saw it too late. Okay, this one's actually kind of nasty. By which I mean, not really all that bad. Wait, what is this? Why pull out this tooth? That's why. Okay. Almost, almost nothing exists without a reason. But there is, of course, famously that one tooth that actually does not seem any visible purpose. Why would I want to stand there? Why would I? Why would I want to pull that out? I don't because I don't need to. I can just do this. Huh? Here he is. You're gonna just wait for the gas dash through and okay, still get damaged for no real reason. Weird. I don't understand half these setups, by, uh, but but you know I'll take it. And this is exactly the exit I was talking about. Yep. Okay. Guess we can 
cross that off the list, uh, I still need to check out this lower section here, because that's definitely also a place that I could not fully explore before. Huh. Oops. <laughs> oh, this is uh, kind of awkward. And I'm... Oh. Okay. Thankfully, <laughs> dashing fixed that. That was that was interesting. Um, okay. I couldn't jump there, by the way, when I was <laughs> sliding in a, you know, in a weird mid-air stance. Well, yeah, interesting. One full heal coming right up. I'm gonna have what thirty thousand, thirty thousand mass by the time I ever make it back to to the world pillar, if I ever do. Uh, that's pretty glorious. Wait, uh oh, 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 yeah, you don't actually have to. Never mind then. Is there something here? I can see something shimmering through there, through the foreground there, but I guess it's not really anything. Um. Okay, I've definitely been here before. Whoa. Um, that's... Okay, fine. Hmm. I thought there was something here that I couldn't do. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe... No, maybe there is something here? I saw... Yeah, there is... Wait. Oh, that's... Okay. I did see this uh, big set of teeth from uh, below. Yeah. Interesting that I can't actually see anything below here, but there is something. Yeah, this. Right. That's what I saw. Okay. Never mind, then. Did not need to return here after all. Not a big deal, though. Come on. I guess that means I am done here. Um, is there anything I could purchase from from Owl? More weapons that I'm that are not uh, that don't work with my stance of choice. I could get them for the sake of completion, but uh, you know it's also not really necessary. Um, he does sell more uh, breath. Shards. Right, I can't actually go up this way. Mm. Wait. And this is just a dead end? Okay. So I have to, you know, I have to actually visit him or run past him anyway. So I might as well take another look just to make sure. Maybe something does look interesting. Yeah, so he does sell these. Oh, these weapons are expensive though. Or this weapon is. Blood Metal Scythe. Well. Yeah, I mean, it really looks cool. Throw vulnerable prey forward or lift vulnerable prey upwards. But I'm never going to invest in 15 strength and dex. I don't think. If I ever respec, I would choose one or the other as my main stat, but... Yeah. Also, slow weapon, I don't know. I think in this game, I where combat is already kind of, kind of slow and methodical more than frantic... I mean, that doesn't stop me from from being from you know completely panicking and getting hectic uh, under pressure. But um, in general, compared to other soul slugs, it's relatively slow. And you know, an even slower weapon or a, a super slow weapon in that scenario. No, I think I prefer faster ones. I could buy these things because otherwise you have absolutely no ways of of healing if you're just you find yourself out of breath. So maybe. All bars of breath. Maybe I'll just buy these for now. I, honestly, I have the money, and these are super rare and in limited supply. What the heck, right? Chances are I'm not actually going to make use of these, but who knows? Maybe. Maybe I will. Of course, with that, hmm, 
I mean, the thing is, I was not expecting to find a, a possibly whole new area this way. And if there is a save point, I mean, that kind of implies that there must be something substantial past that point, right? Um, I was not planning with that in mind at all because I couldn't have foreseen that. And my plan was to fully explore or to check check out the places that I knew about in this area and then return to the world pillar. I mean, either way, I guess returning and upgrading my weapon is uh, definitely a good idea. No matter what I decide to do afterwards. And there are actually uh, two things that I would like to do in the world pillar or near it. Also, hold on just a second. Unformed Desert, Gloom Nest, Feaster's Lair. I, oh, that's Gloom Nest. This one is considered part of Gloom Nest. Or that's its name anyway. Right? Yeah. Even though it's technically part of the map of Feaster's Lair. Hmm. Okay, that's why I was confused. Yeah, never mind then. No reason to be confused, really. Now, finally. This has been a long time coming. We'll see, first of all, if I can even upgrade more than once. If it follows the same pattern again. If I can upgrade twice for two chunks each. And how expensive that's going to be. Choose wisely. What? I did not mean to back out of the menu. I mean, I... Hmm, okay. It just plays B to advance text, but I guess you really can press A. Anyway, choose wisely. Or can you? No, no, no. Right. Two blood milk chunks. 21, 80 mass. That's what I thought. Damage goes up by only two. Okay. And one more time for 3,650 and two more chunks. Oh, and now it's fully upgraded. Interesting. Breathsmith and uh, achievement unlock. So no final upgrade level with... Uh, one super super limited, super rare, uh, highest tier upgrade material. Well, okay. That means the weapon is now as good as it will ever be. B scaling with resonance, it's not bad. I mean, it only adds one point, but uh, you know that's gonna get better eventually. I'm gonna, I swear, I'm gonna eventually put more points into it. In fact, I could do so right now. Could and will. Considering I'm not aware of anything that I can buy with it. I mean, I'm sure there are going to be more merchants later on, but, you know, for now, we can upgrade. Uh, we can level up three times. You know, I am going to get health to 10, dexterity to 5, and then I'm going to keep going until at least 15 resonance. Possibly more. Right. That gave us actually one extra point of damage for, from each... Dexterity and Resonance. That's nice. So two extra points of of damage right there. Um, oh, Misk and uh, displays our repel damage there. 50. Yeah. Actually, I uh, definitely observed dealing... Oh, you know, that was before the upgrade. Yeah, before it, it was actually dealing 49 damage. Okay, so that's now up to 50. Just nice. Um, also, I had never actually realized that this place world is covered there. Hunt points collected 20. You know, I don't know how I never paid attention to those stats. Time's Vessel lost 63? Wait, that's that's not right. That can't possibly be right. No way. That must be counting all those times you die and respawn immediately from instant death, pits, and, and whatnot. That don't respawn you back at the last save point, but just at the last ledge. There's no other way. I definitely did not fully die and respawn that many times. Absolutely no way. Huh. Very prey consumed and breath hearts consumed. Yeah, okay. 43% of the world, that's crazy! Actually, now that I've... that that finally sinks in. That's absolutely nuts. This is only less than half... significantly less than half of the entire game world? Wow. Wow. That is absurd. Okay, I mean, I I absolutely love that, but seriously? <laughs> Unless it considers more factors than just pure map completion? Okay, first of all, you might be wondering, why am I going up this way again? 
Well, there's something I want to confirm. Uh, or something that uh, I didn't try last time I was here, but that did occur to me. You can pull this platform over, right? <gasps> Yep, that gives you horizontal momentum. I don't know why that never occurred to me until, once again, I, I was just... I don't know if I thought of that while watching my video and thinking, wait, why didn't I try that? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Or maybe I just I was thinking about the game and remembered that. That has happened before. But yeah, okay. That's why that setup is the way it is and why you can't pull the platform to the other side, actually, which I thought was so weird. Okay. So there's absolutely something you can do. Okay, that was not something to stand on, but that's not a problem. Okay, I think I can pull this up, yeah. Hmm. I guess I can drop through this and dash over to that platform? Yes, okay. But only thanks to the super generous... Um, mechanics. Wait. I can't pull this up. Um, but how? How would I do this instead? Whoa! That's crazy! <laughs> Drop down through the platform, pull it down, and get caught by it in time? Okay. I mean, that's actually not that crazy, but still. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect that to be something the game would require you to do. That's really cool, there's something up there. How in the world would you get all the way up there? There's no way, I mean, no, this thing does not shoot you up nearly far enough. Huh. Just so I don't re uh, don't forget, maybe double jump, wall jump, wall climb, whatever ability I might, might gain later in the game. What? Come on. These things are weird. Would you like to attack? Okay. They are really strange. Oh god. Oh, I, you know what? I did not see that platform I landed on. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't realize these were going to be crumbly. Okay, please come down here. Okay. Don't like those things. They're really not the most threatening enemies in the world, but I don't know, I find their movements very awkward and unpredictable. Uh, and then they also tend to just, you know, almost bump into you, and, and so you have to kind of awkwardly dodge to the side and then pull on them. It's, I don't know, it's, it's weird, it's awkward. Anyway, uh, yeah, so those crumble, okay. There's another one. More crumbly platforms, that's... okay. I'm alive. It's fine. Come on. Come on down. Uh, come on over here. Please. Move. Okay. Right, so I can't pull on that. Hmm. This looks like death. It's like the end of the line there. Is there anything below here? Those are still more crumbly platforms. Hmm. I mean, there might be something below, but um, the only way to find out is uh, oh, the only way to find out is to uh, potentially sacrifice your life. I again did not see this platform. They really blend in with the background. I mean, it's much much nicer to actually su surprisingly find a platform that you didn't see than to assume there was a platform and then it turns out that it was just background. So um, you know. It could be a lot worse. Uh-huh, okay. I think I see. We want to uh, use this again. Yeah, yeah, okay. Honestly, it, it doesn't seem like just from the from the movement speed of the platform it should give you this much extra momentum, but, you know. I'll take it. Uh, oh, okay. So I can just drop down to that, that one uh, item on top of the pillar. Oh. <laughs> Kick up there for a second. 
And I did not actually gain the momentum. Wait. Oh, again. There's a platform up there that I didn't see at first. I wasn't looking at to my left, honestly. <laughs> That's mostly why. Okay. More of those things. Oh, God. Whoa, I pulled too early and the game is really, really choppy up here. I don't know why. Steady 60 FPS and still feels like, I don't know, less than 30. Okay. Oh, what? Mm, right, technically I knew about that. I have had that exact problem before. When you pull, you can't pull while on the ladder, which is surprising enough. But after you do, you actually just uh, let go of the ladder and fall. Which is certainly uh, not great. Okay, I cannot... Um, I cannot go through that electricity, of course. Uh-oh. Well, that's not what I meant to do at all. Okay, because I don't want to redo all of this. I'm going to use one of my... Uh, wait. Oh, half a bar is enough. Okay, right. I'm going to use one of these. Instantly heal full. Heal full. Heal two full. Whatever. Okay. Um, so, that's not what I meant to do at all. What I meant to do was time it so that I can... Pull the thing uh, from above, but uh, yeah, I under underestimated the the air time. <laughs> okay, um, wait, that platform there. It's definitely not somewhere I have been. I might be able to reach that, but I think I don't know. Obviously, once I drop down there, I'll have to climb all the way back up to get here. So I'll just. Obviously, grab this first. Another Motley Pearl, okay. Definitely nice to have a, an ample supply of those. Oh god, if I drop down onto this platform, I will never be able to get back up again. Uh, is the game going to be nice enough? Well, one way to find out. Oh, actually, it might be nice. Oh, the item is below here, though. So maybe it's not nice? Oh god. Didn't expect that. Okay. Okay, where are we trying to go? Where? I mean, further up, I suppose. Hello? Weird little zoom in. Shaper. Shaper sounds like it might be resonance. I mean... I really don't know. No, I guess it's not. Well, it is, actually. Huh. What do you know? It is dexterity and resonance. A good amount, too. And it's fast. Uh, can be stabbed into prey, consuming all wisp stacks. Oh, no, it's another one that... Another weapon that interacts with the lanterns. Oh, no. I just... its That's too complex for me. I cannot deal with that. I wish I could. This is so interesting. But also so unfortunate. Healing damage for each wisp. Otherwise, wisps are... Right. That's a projectile that spawn when the enemy dies. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Super cool. Um, maybe, maybe it's going to be worth using just for the damage alone, because of the, the scaling is going to be so much better, right? Hmm. I guess we'll see. Uh, stepped into flesh, worn by the uh, by the carven, and then stirred in an attempt to merge the various entities into one cohesive whole. Okay. I, mean, I guess I, I could give it a try. My aim is to have these stats eventually, so um, sure, I'll use the weapon. Maybe I'll like the moveset, maybe it looks cool, you know. All kinds of possible reasons to use it. Oh, another chunk. Well, I need more of those. Now that I've invested every single one that I've found into one weapon. Okay. Uh, 
Hmm. Blind drop, huh? I know there were platforms that, um, platforms up here that I couldn't reach before. It's kind of awkward that you can't see one. I mean, there might be one visible. I'm not really sure if that's background or foreground. But there's also definitely that item here. You know... I guess I'll go ahead and grab that first. Also, there is apparently stuff down here underneath this, this main platform. Oh no. Uh oh, wait. Okay, so that one goes down. Hmm. I don't see anything there. That's a risk. There might be something there, it might be nothing. Um, but I basically know that there's something directly below, well, actually directly below, below this platform, right? Yeah, directly below, okay. Oh, an entire armor set. Okay, worth it. Wake bone chest. Oh, a dark charred version of uh, the bone bird. Interesting. Uh, and that gives you Craver and Rootwalker. Um, which ones are those? Craver. Wait. Rootwalker is... Uh, oh, that's the better heal. Which one was the Craver? I forget what it looked like even. Oh, Craver. Uh, when prey are destroyed... Not by Absorb, they drop a Fading Cloud of Breath. Oh, okay, so that's the super healing increase set. Interesting. It also gives you... Actually, Resonance and Dexterity. Oh. Interesting. Um, it is not awake, not truly. Breath was taken from elsewhere and used as a decoration for the husk. Huh. It's kind of hard to see here because of the stark contrast, but actually, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, I like the look of the uh, of the bone bird already, but uh, yeah, these are at least as cool. At least as cool looking. Okay, so that's that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I still want to use this set. Oh wait, oh, I don't think I realized that I picked up uh, the legs for this set eventually. I must have completely missed that. Huh. So I could pick that up. Uh, or I pick that up. I could uh, equip that for the Force and Resonance bonus. I guess I will do that once I'm trying to make progress. Uh, when I really, you know, need the benefit of the of the extra damage scaling and the, the extra Force. For now, while I'm still re-exploring and going, maybe going back to uh, Gloom Nest, which you know should be an easier area, all, all things considered. Uh, I'm gonna keep this uh, Gold Growth chest on because you know more breath, obviously, uh, not more breath, more uh, mass gain. Yeah. Well, the bad news is that if I want to explore what I could drop down to from here, or if there is anything below here, I have to climb all the way back up because yeah, this is. Um, kind of mean that they force you to climb back up after doing this. I guess the good news is that the enemies are no longer here. So long as I don't die or otherwise reset. Ah, there's something below. Uh, there, there might be something below. There probably is not. No, there's not. Okay. Now I know. I guess falling doesn't really deal that much damage, though. So it's not not so bad. Sacrificing just a little bit a little bit of health for the knowledge, for science. Oh wait, we want to pull this over and do one of these. That's really cool. It feels really, really nice. Wait, oh, I forgot where the platform was. It's fine. Oh, this thing. I never dealt with that properly. Ah, 
There we go. Land and that was bad. Should have been easy. Should have just landed on it. No problem. What am I doing? What am I actually doing? Okay, land on top of it. I don't know why. I wasn't. I wasn't pressing to the left or anything. I was trying to aim directly for the middle of this platform, and still, somehow, um, I seem to be drifting to the to the left there, almost falling out. That was scary. Okay. Um, why did I? What's wrong with me? Sometimes I don't know. There is enough time to just wait for the lightning to actually stop. You don't have to anticipate it going out or anything. Weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, so we can delete this. I should be able to die once for free, as it were. Oh, there is something. There are multiple things. And I did actually fully die. Oh, that's unfortunate. I really thought I wasn't going to lose that much health. Oh, wait. I think it's different whether you, like, just fall into an into an infinite pit, basically cross a, a death plane in a drop like this, or actually crash into the ground, as I did here. Huh. So there were there was one narrow tunnel relatively high up with an item, and then one ledge with a with an upgrade item further down, but both were impossible to reach. Unless maybe with a double jump. Or, I don't know, something else. I know, I keep talking about that double jump. It might never come. It might be something else entirely that I'm not foreseeing. But either way, something, some ability I don't have must be the key to that. Hmm. I guess I will make my way back up there to collect my vessel. And then uh, back up here. And then I'm going to drop and hope that the game is going to be nice enough to allow me to land on something useful. Maybe I can reach yeah, something that I saw up there that I couldn't reach before. I hope it's not going to be completely in vain. We'll see. Okay. And I'm back up here. Here goes nothing. Oh, that's just a ledge. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Okay, just a normal swing from weapon type is enough, though. Little dust, to easily return. Huge vertebrae in the background, awesome. Hmm. Is there something above? There. Huh. Apparently there is. There is an opening in the ceiling, which is not even visible. Hmm. Okay. I wonder how we'll ever be able to get up there. Unless we literally learn to fly. Wait. Huh? That seems oddly pointless. Okay. That's up here. Wait. Hold on. No, no, okay, that's fine. Never mind. Wish I could not just see, you know, look up or down, but also to the side. Um, I don't think I need to interact with that black or purple cloud thing at all. I can just jump here. Huh. But yeah, obviously, obviously I cannot reach that thing in the ceiling there. Um, hmm. Interesting. Oh, can I... Can I climb back up? Yeah, what, what's up with this tunnel? There's obviously... or absolutely no visible indicator for a secret wall. Hmm. Very odd. Very odd. What's below here? 
Oh, okay. There's something that we saw but couldn't get before. Pillar fragments, yay. Okay, and there is another, whatever that is, maybe a type of grapple point? Hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, it seems like it. Maybe a series of grapples to get wherever that leads, somewhere up here. Maybe even reach uh, these ledges from the other side. I mean, it seems it displays a wall here, but there might just be a, a secret passage there. Also, I somehow missed my uh, vessel there. How did that even happen? I must have just walked past it. Pretty sure I didn't see it. Hey, I was distracted by something? That's... okay. Hmm. Well, that's what it is. You know, I guess I'm just gonna... carefully drop down. Seems like I've once again reached the extent of what I can uh, explore up here. Very clearly still missing some sort of ability. And uh, right here, the, we had items inside of an, a deadly electricity field. So uh, yeah, that's still a mystery. How we'll eventually be able to deal with that. No idea. Oh. Okay. Anyway, we're back here. And there is one possibly major thing I want to try. And that is reaching these, uh, these ledges off the side of the elevator. And of course this might not work at all, but uh, what I'm gonna do is, well, write the elevator down. Well, first I guess I'm gonna heal here. I'm go gonna go down, write the elevator down, and then climb all the way back up through nerve root and see if the elevator is still down, allowing me to drop down the shaft and hopefully into one of those Oh, those openings on the side. I can take one more look, but I'm, I mean, on the right side. That's pretty far down, but there's, oh wow, that's really far down, though. Huh. I mean, it's still gonna be valuable knowledge gained. Cannot drop through these now, okay. Um. You know, just valuable knowledge for the future. It shouldn't take that long either to climb up, but uh, I'm just gonna do that off camera just to confirm and then, you know, hopefully I'll get uh, a few attempts to, to drop down and see what I can do possibly. If there's a ladder off to the side that I can grab, that would stop my fall, so that would be a way that that could work. Uh, either way, I'm, I wanna see, I wanna know. So uh, I'm gonna pause one final time for this episode and I'll see you at the top of that elevator. Well, just arrived here, and the elevator is here. However, oh, this is so... Oh, wait. This is so disappointing in so many ways. Why did it occur to me to try and drop through the platforms at the bottom of the elevator, but not through these that look identical? Well, okay. I did see, but let me just confirm that one more time. Um, there seemed to be one of those dark... Oh yeah, you can just see it for a split second. There is one of those dark cloud thingies. That must be a kind of grapple point that I can just... Well, probably be able to just uh, grab with the same pull mechanic. Presumably, that would be the most straightforward thing, I guess. Oh well, okay. So, can't do that quite yet. But it is a thing that I can do. It's not put on the map yet. Alright. Well. Okay. Ah, you know what? I kinda... Hmm. I, I, I'm assuming that progress is from here. Toward this place. I mean, that seems to make the most sense. Just below the palace where I'm technically supposed to go. Um, but Shidra said... They were gonna, like, uh, forge a key for me from a material I'm supposed to retrieve from down here, right? That's the idea. That's the, the whole reason I need to go down there. But didn't he also say that he opened the way that he caused the, the bridge to get lowered for me? But I suppose if there is still a locked gate behind that, then that doesn't do anything for me. But I kind of still want to take a look and see 
if I could theoretically progress a bit further that way. So, you know what? Since I didn't get to actually uh, do anything down here, even though now we do know more than we used to, I'm, I mean, I'm unlikely to ever forget, but it is me, so let's just put a reminder there that there is something to uh, explore later with a with an ability that we don't have yet. Um, I am going to pause one actually final time this time, most likely, maybe, we'll see, uh, and you know, travel back over this way and see just to, just to have a bit of a look see around here, see if anything changed, and uh, if so, what. Okay, just real quick, I talked to this guy, and uh, he does say that the, the bridge has been lowered, which I, I thought I remembered Chidra saying, so there should be something, right? But we are still missing the key, so yeah, still gonna make my way over there and, and look. Okay, I mean, I really didn't need to pause for this. <laughs> it didn't take nearly as long to walk this path than I seem to remember. Um, and there, I think there are a couple more random NPCs along the way than there used to be, although none of them have anything to say. Um, Go back and tell them we don't need any more new stitchers. Oh. What? Why? The path to the broken sky has been reopened. Oh, yeah. We need livestone collectors again. Livestone collectors. Livestone? It's not the material I think I've encountered. Through your form shall we uh, be held upwards to reform a new. Okay. Well, the bridge has been lowered. That's the one. It is. Sure is. Uh oh. Um. Is this consensual? What are you doing? Oh, hey. At last, I'm here, surrounded by true siblings. Not just some uglies who whimper and moan about the old pain, but change to mend it. Next. Returning servant or a crude? Crude, for now. <laughs> yes, the painted offerings are yours, I imagine. Well, step forward, crude, and kneel. Or prostrate. Be broken and reformed anew. Oh, they get their malformed heads chiseled away? That's what's happening, right? <gasps> or just smashed. Uh, apparently the head is not a vital organ. Go to the back and wait. A servant will come for you soon with your fragments. And you, the counterfeit. Yes, by Shidra's will you may pass. However, expect no further protection on the path. The servant's wrath will be yours to bear. The servant's wrath. Um, I mean, I do need the key though, right? I am supposed to do something else before coming here. I r was not expecting this to keep going for this long, or really at all. I mean, maybe I can clear the area and grab a, a nerve pass to return quickly once I'm, you know, once I'm actually ready to progress. But eventually there's going to be a, some sort of gate that actually stops me. Servant's path, yep. Huh. Of course no map. We're gonna get a safe point here. I mean, I I guess I don't really want to go here yet. It seems it seems like I definitely should try to go to that lower area first. Hmm. All the chiseling everywhere. All these hands also kind of disturbing. Just a little bit. I mean, I guess not really worth worse than what we've been seeing in this game. Oh god, uh, why did I dodge right into that projectile? Get out. You get out, dude. Rude. What did I ever, what did I ever do to you? You prey found. I mean, yeah, I, I gotta stop this episode, but man. This game just keeps giving servants. Oh, okay. What's up with the, with that artifacting? <laughs> that uh, bad, I don't know, JPEG compression going on with the, some of these pictures. Actually, not most of them. Some very slightly, but this one is very noticeable. Does not look great. Uh, once a stoneborn has been chiseled, sculpted, and then accepted into the servant's path, the servant would have to prove themselves in the making of art. 
Only the very best would be chosen for servitude in the palace and the chance to work for flesh. Okay. Oh yeah, wait, wait. These actually do seem to have, like, human, more human-like fleshy bodies, as opposed to. I suppose some of these look more organic than than stone, but these look particularly, actually, flesh and skin-like, compared to the, to these guys. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Well. Oh, what? Oh, that's just. The reflection effect on the ground there looked, looked kind of weird for a second. Um, okay, nothing down here actually. Just that lonely guy chiseling away at the floor. What are you guys doing? Okay, you know what? I really have to stop. Oh, wait, did I ever drop down here? Yes. Yes, I guess so. I will actually leave this place as fascinated as I am. Um, and backtrack all the way back to, well, I don't know. Well, <laughs> first of all to, to the world pillar. And then I, I guess I'm going to... Pick up my, my what call it, my vessel there. Just because. And uh, I said I wanted to to clear out or you know explore and clear out as much as I can of Gloomnest because I had already started, and uh, that's probably the easiest area that's currently left to explore for me. I also always wanted to return uh, to uh, to this place and just take a look at why exactly I. I wasn't able to progress up this shaft. That clearly is hiding something. Um, I guess there's a non-zero chance that I might be able to do something there. There's also this. I forget what exactly was stopping me there. Maybe it was something very trivial that I just didn't know at the time. Um, might be worth re-exploring if I can return there. I think I should be able to. Maybe I'll just do that off-camera just to confirm whether... Or I guess I could just watch episode one of my Let's Play and... Uh, and uh, take a look at those areas. That's That might actually be the, the most reasonable thing to do. Anyway, um, yeah, Gloom Nest next. I'm going to just head on over there. And, uh, yeah, and do that. I don't know if I want to uh, try fighting this guy again. I guess I am a little bit tougher, a little, tougher where I'm a little bit stronger now than I was last time. But, uh, yeah, that guy is tough. For sure. There's also apparently something here. Okay, um, there might be a couple... More reasons to return to uh, the the unformed desert, actually, and then down to Gloom Nest. Yeah, you know, something like that. Again, why why am I even making plans? Uh, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.